How'd you get there? Uh -huh. I'm not in it. Hi. Hi, everybody. We don't to... No. Especially for me and coming to, into adulthood, like, ah! But anyways, I am a college student. I go to Clark Atlanta <laughs> University, DCAU. I'm a... <laughs> Y'all see who he got on, right? How are you going to say the and you ain't going to No, the illustrious Clark Atlanta University. Let's go. All right. <laughs> okay. All I right. Okay, but... Y'all ready to get into these questions? Yeah, go ahead. Because Arissa kind of go ahead. Kind of messed me up. <laughs> what did I do? Okay. Okay, we're gonna start simple, like real easy. Um, what are your goals for twenty twenty three? What are your goals? You so start. I'm a first. You then. Yeah. All right, good. Um, for me, we're to make more money, stack more money, you know. Um, spend more money wisely. Yes. I learned that in 2022. Don't blow your money. Man. Uh, save money, uh, get in the gym more, and really grow mentally. That's probably it. Like, I have to grow mentally. Like, my goal for real in 2023 is to grow mentally. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, my 2023 goals... I've learned a lot from 2022 that's making me want to be like changed into a whole different person like be soft be like more you know caring for myself and relaxed I'm used to, usually so uptight and always in my head but I really want to be like more you know open and do stuff that makes me happy and yeah yeah Get smarter. I really want to read more. Really, though. <laughs> I really do. And listen to really podcasts. Y'all have to put me on some podcasts. Oh, yeah, bro, you don't, you don't bro, listen to podcasts? podcasts? I don't. Bro, pod, what? Mallory okay. Bros Podcast. Mallory Bros Podcast. You have to put me on more podcasts. podcasts. Mallory okay. Bros Podcast. Black Rory, Woman Rory Affirmation. Law That's like what type of vibe I'm on. I'm coming into my impulse. My Femininity. Impulsive. Is, is that the thing? I hate to admit that, but impulsive. Impulsive? Mm-hmm. For sure. I hate to admit it. I really hate to admit it, but that What podcast. are we talking about? Podcast. podcast. You gotta get hip on podcast. You gotta, you gotta We're still talking about my goals. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get on a podcast. Put me on it. I swear to God. But, yeah, like I said, I wanna tap more into, like, my soft girl femininity, you know? Like, just... Bruh. Be that girl, you know? She's about to be done. <laughs> like literally, I'm not. What's my goals? Mm -hmm. I want. I don't have like big, big goals. I have simple ones like change up my diet a little bit. Things that I know not healthy for me. Yes, yeah. for, for the body bodies. I'm not eating no more Stay fast food, y'all. Hold um, me to it. I, I mean, fast start. food really not that bad for if you get in the gym. I mean, <laughs> I do want to get in the gym. If you get in the gym, it's really not that I bad, do. honestly. The gym is fun. I I just have to stay consistent, and I just don't like going to the gym by myself. The thing like, is, with consistency, I don't know. It don't like, but it's you can't uh -uh. say I'm going to start and then think you're going to do it every single day. No, because I want to start journaling. That's what I did for my 2022. It was to start journaling. I did not journal every day, but like every couple of days, or if I remember every about it, I'll months. write. I'll Same. write in it and I'll, I'll put journaling. an update. I love journaling. And like, it'll be like, like a month I didn't touch the book, but then I'm like, I, I feel like writing like my updates on life right now. That's how it starts. You just don't have to be today, tomorrow, next day, because that's going to get exhausted yeah. quick. You have to go at your own pace. Now, for me, like, I started the gym and I love going to the gym. Like, I started, like, I just woke up, I was like, bet, you need to start going to the gym. 
So I just woke up and every yeah. day I go to the gym two days off, other five days gym. Two days no, off, I was in the gym, gym yeah, but did. being like comfortable. No, being it's uncomfortable. It's gonna be uncomfortable. It's gonna be yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah, that's that's the big go thing I got. It. I got to go over. through it. Yeah, like I'm uncomfortable with my feelings. Like in public, I'm be, fine with like get looking comfortable uh, being so. uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm fine with looking stupid in public, but when it comes to like my yeah, first at this point, thoughts, you I see, can't. I'm recording this YouTube video, huh? <laughs> who? Cause who? You are your biggest supporter. You're your biggest really? person. You really? got to just get out there and just overcome it. You are your biggest fan. If you stop yourself that from doing what you want to do, then you're not going to do it. Period. Next question. Is that all that was said for the first one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Um. Just a cough. Let's get a little, a little, a little soft. Um. Who's, who's, who's mama? Would you go back mama? after being cheated on? No. <laughs> oh, you can take it, but you can't dish it. You, you know what I'm trying what? to say. You can dish it out, but you can't take it. I mean, I haven't really cheated before. Okay. <laughs> I, I haven't been in that many relationships. I've been, yeah, but I haven't been in that many relationships. So, yeah. But, yeah, if you cheat, yes, yeah, 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 no. No. <laughs> we have nothing more to talk about. <laughs> Y'all probably totally <laughs> That's sad. That's sad. That is so sad. I was, like, I was not agreeing at all. I'm like, I That's hear you. Sad. I hear you. I'm like, I hear you, but I ain't hear you. I'm no, going to go back and I'm going to do exactly what you just did to me. Depend no. on how, actually, depending on how long we've been together. <laughs> If we was together for like a hot man, I was buying a bunch of stuff. You just played me. I'm bro. gonna go back to you, but then I'm about to play. You about to feel my pain too. And my I'm thing is, is my thing is, bro. If you feel need to cheat, you might as well just like Please. Please. That's why I said if, if you Please. you at that point Please. you want, you knew what you was doing to me. So now I'm gonna get back what you think everything good. But, I'm gonna get you back for my lip. No, I say I'll get you I'll back. that one time, and I won't never do that again. <laughs> get your lip like, back. I feel like I'm not gonna get my lip back. I'm gonna take my piece and be like, okay, you did that. I'm gonna have my little emotions. That's why I said the pin But I'm not gonna be stupid enough. No. You if I've been with you for like a year plus, no. if I've been with you for a year plus, I'll get my lead back. But if we like in a six month relationship and you cheat on me, okay. just stay out of my face. Just stay out of my face. But if I put time no. and dedication into somebody. No, time and dedication getting, was that two I'm year. Is that two year and then they cheat on you and then you just like, absolutely not. Go, get out. Absolutely not. Just get out of my face. That's what you do. But like six months, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be mad at you because dang, we were supposed to be something. I mean, nah. <laughs> I'm just like, if you cheat, bro, though. like, what? Yeah, bro, like, yeah, but I'm on like, your way. I'm, I'm never. Gonna it's do like, nah. Never let me back. You can go. Like, I'll just, I'll say this. I want to cheat first. I want to cheat first. I don't, I don't like cheating. She likes to play games. Hold on, hold on, because I don't play games. Just, That's just, I, just, I just know, I just imagine energies. Whatever energy you bring, I bring the same energy along with you. If you so act stupid, I'm going to act stupid. That's, That's, who has time for that? I have time for it, and I'm going to keep my peace with it. Anything that you do to me, I'm going to do right back to you. <laughs> with no care about it, because you're not going to... If you mess over, I'm going to mess over you too as well. And I'm still going to enjoy myself in the day. At the end of the day, I still have peace within myself. That's not my problem. I just match energies. However you come to me is how I come to you. Okay, let's do another light one. What was your favorite memory of 2022? Uh, what was my favorite memory? Do top three, because that's, that's a lot. Yeah, we can do three. Top three, that's a lot. Three. Um, going to school. That was meeting my crab brothers, meeting my partners, and my college friends. And I don't know, going to school, like just going to school within yourself. It's good, but at the same thing, at the same time, going to school is cool. But at the same time, don't get me wrong, it's not easy <laughs> <laughs> at all. 
College is not easy. You have to learn how to balance. College you gotta time. know how yeah. to balance it. Time management. Time management. Time. Time. I, I, I have a job. I, I am in important. school and right. I run a team. Time management. Time I know management. you don't know how important that is until you have to do it. Like, yeah, time management is very important in college. What's messed up is like when you was in high school and stuff. High school they had you on a time management. Yeah. They had you. Okay, this is this time, this that time, that time, that time. And that's how I worked perfectly for four years. But once you on your own, you have a different schedule. That now you have to like make. Nobody's gonna make it for you. Nobody's gonna tell you to go to the next class. This thing you have to do that yourself voluntarily. It's a whole different mindset. It's a whole <laughs> different ballpark. So that's you had like, the option of doing it or not. Know. Especially if you have the option of doing it or not. I'd be like, so after that school, after that bell ring, you <laughs> have to go to the next class. They know you there. If they close that they door, know you there. You, they know you there. Don't even you try. You have to get in trouble. But in college, you won't get in trouble. There is no reaction to your reaction to classes. In college, you don't go to class. You just don't go to class. They you know. Class. They yeah. know. Don't act like. Don't think they don't. Oh, but everybody going to go to the first five days because they want that refund check. Oh yes, indeed. <laughs> we go to class. <laughs> we go to class every day. <laughs> every day. <laughs> Not this is the no day. morning classes though. I'll oh, yeah, none. What was the start first time? nine? What was your favorite top memory? Three memories. Yeah, favorite top three memories from um, okay. 2022. I thought I forgot. What is yours? Okay. Um. This year was really like hard. I'm gonna keep saying. Really crazy for me. So I would say top three memories starting from January. Nah, 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 nah. Got around to May. Got to see my brother graduate. Um going to June and July. Got to go bring my cousin to Jackson. That was two. And three going into school. I got to start my team and we're up and running. Yes, man. Arissa, before you go with yours, I want to change minds. One of my favorite memories from this year will be talking, being with my cousins a lot throughout the Christmas break, like throughout this whole break. Yeah, we've been. Yeah, like, <laughs> we've been Not with each other. From, from October <laughs> on <laughs> down, we've been friends. We have been with each other the from whole time. From October on down. And then my favorite, like my actual favorite part for her is when I talk to, um, Uncle Dustin, Uncle Dustin daughters. Oh, Adara and uh, yeah, like when I talked to Larry and them, for, I was like, yeah, like I actually get to see them grow. Like I heard them just talk about how they've grown and stuff. Cause we really missed it. Cause they went to Canada, like they went away. They went to Canada. Like they went away and was like left. Yeah. They came back. So Christmas was like everybody just came back for real. So it was cool. Like Christmas was really cool. Yeah, I got to, I was happy. Like this Christmas yeah. was like Christmas everything was, cool. was back to normal for our family it kinda. Was fam. And I like enjoyed that. I missed that. Yeah, that was cool. Y'all yeah. see, look what my grandmother bought me. This this sweater. <laughs> I love it. I can't take it off. <laughs> I love it. Sometimes I wish I was closer to this side of family. Like we grew up together, but we didn't grow up, Go up together. together you know? sure. It was like see each other every two, three months type of thing. And my cousins, the ones who my my age was really just me, Priya, and CJ, and we all do our. It was just us three. But now on that side of my family, we don't really do that no more because Grandma died, so we don't go by each other's house on Christmas anymore. And I haven't went by somebody's house on Christmas since two thousand like eighteen. It would just be like mm -hmm. my grandma and them I'll go by, but like going to like a a Christmas party with like a bunch of family playing games and stuff. Yeah, it's been cool. a, it's been a minute. It was that was that one was definitely fun. That was definitely sure. fun. And getting closer with cousins, so I don't talk to her as often. Yeah. I didn't talk to to me as often. I didn't talk to Layla. I didn't talk to Taylor. But now I didn't talk to Jonathan. I didn't talk to Jordan. But now like we all have each other's socials and stuff. So now it's a better yeah. chance to keep up with family. And stuff. That'd be a cool part having everybody's social. Having social, you like oh, oh, what, what you doing? doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna come out there for a week and I need to see what you're doing. Literally. What's your, what's your top three? Right. Hmm? Top oh, three? Um, I would say um, when I remember I went to Texas. I went to Texas this summer to meet my friend for two years who I met through the internet. Never met her before. And this is our first time meeting and we went to yeah. a K-pop concert. Yeah. I literally cried when I finally met her. I literally cried. My Would y'all ever do that? Internet we friends are like, so different. They're just because when you find it like, oh my god, we've been friends for two years, 
Well, it starts off slow. It really started off slow, but then, like, as time, like, we would be on the phone, like, some stuff would happen at home, so she would start getting close to my personal life, and I would start getting close to her personal life. And just what we tell each other. So just like actually being face to face, where like I know you so well, I can I can tell anything about you, I can tell any information about you, but I just never like actually touched you before yeah. until now. It's a whole different experience. So know, it's like crazy weird because like I don't know. It's just a little weird. Um, I don't. I don't, know. I don't think it was. She's my first ever. It's first not only weird. Ever. I'm not gonna say it's weird. It's just not my. It's not my alley for real. Like I I need to meet you. Like I actually need to meet you for. Real. I need to actually see you. But we met through social media. And the That's way the thing. the thing is we didn't meet because like she was like, let's be friends. No, it wasn't that. We had both a common interest and had nobody to talk about it with. We both liked K pop, but we had yeah. nobody to talk to K pop about. So it started off like, Oh my god, you see this BTS video? Oh my god, you see this? Oh my mm -hmm. god, sending each other funny K pop memes. They'll be we'll get a phone like, Oh my god, let's watch this um the like the T like they will sometimes go live on TV, let's watch the live together on FaceTime. And that's over time how we just got closer through one common bond that we could not share with. Like, I can't share K-pop with you. I can't share with my mama. Everybody okay. think that stuff is weird, but somebody else who has a common interest with your I weird stuff. I don't think it's weird. It's just... Oh it's goodness. not your type. Yeah, it's, it's not, not your type. I no, no. I heard some people saying it's weird, it's but... Because I like a few album. songs, but... It's just, just having not somebody not that's just, like, at the same mind. level with you, with the same level with you, and kind of, like, have, like, the same life experience, mm -hmm. but y'all just so far apart away. When I finally met her, I was like, yo... Yo, you was you helped me for so many months. Now I'm just actually getting to see in your face and saying thank you yeah. to you. Like it's just something different. Yeah. Like it's kind of like me and your favorite idol, so somebody who like a celebrity. She was a celebrity meet to me until I actually like. This Absolutely is you. This not. is you. That's too much. <laughs> what you mean too much? Like you know when you find like you know Beyonce, you can tell a lot about Beyonce, but Beyonce, you be like, oh my god, that's Beyonce. You're really Beyonce. Like this, this is Beyonce right here. No, that's how I think. I'm, I'm like, like, like yo, this. My favorite artist is Travis Scott. I'm gonna be like, oh my god. I'm doing no. like, oh, shit. Travis Scott. I'm like, yeah, like, yo, that's you in person. That's how I feel. I'm like, yo, I see you on FaceTime all the time. I talk to you all the time. But this is like your actual face. It's like your actual height. Like, I actually see you. Like, my favorite celebrities, I have not met them yet. So if I see Rihanna, like, yo, you really like, you Rihanna, like, you really see, love. Not to mention is. that dude. That you if, I him, oh, if I meet him, if I meet him, I'm like, yo, that's this <laughs> dude, yo. That's, that's no. really him. That's really him from me. I'm going to grab him. I'm going to grab him. No, you're here. not even going to say I'm that. Gonna you gonna, I'm going to start and cry. I'm going to start crying. I think that really goes back to people's personalities, for real. Like, just how you how, you know you react to things. Like, I'm a mellow person, so I'm not going to go out and just be like, oh, my God. I'm going to be like, what up? <laughs> okay, what's your next? So, that was one. Um, My second one, I don't like, you know, I'm not cool with them anymore. But we went to that Kalani concert. And we was like, you know, on a different level mm -hmm. of soberness. We were on a different level of soberness. Basically, and listening to the concert. Yeah, the concert. When we were listening to Rick, Rico Nasty. And I was going through a lot at that time. So just like being at her concert and losing my mind in there. Mm -hmm. And then was with me like on the same level. And it just felt everything was matched at the moment. So I'm really big on like reactions to mm -hmm. stuff. So that was like two big reactions to me. And my third one would be... I think it'll be when I went to Atlanta. When I went to Atlanta with you. When I went to Atlanta with you. It was a fun experience, like living in Jada's life for a couple of days. That was fun. With the dance team and stuff, that, that one was fun. Yeah. It felt, I feel like I was living in Jada's life for real. I literally felt like Jada. Yeah. I was right behind Not her. eating for like. I'm like, oh no. Yeah, I, don't, I only eat like once a day, y'all. Like, I'd be on the move, I'd be on go. You have such a different life for me, so just yeah. following you, I'm like, yeah, I don't I'm tired. Life. I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm tired. But I'm having so much fun. <laughs> okay, um, next question. Would you date someone? Hold on. I'm a, I'm gonna ask that later. Action now. No. Action now, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you consider the bare min the bare minimum? I don't know you go ahead first. I'm gonna answer that last. Like what you mean by bare minimum? Like in relationships? In Yeah, in relationships. The bare like what you need to have or like Like what do you expect from the other person, like the bare minimum, like flat out? Um Bro, be all over me. That's all I really want. Bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really like, like that's it. That's it, bro. That's it. 
attention, bro. That's really it. Like, attention is literally be all over me. That's it. Because I'm going to be all over you for sure. You don't even got to worry about that. Like, that's for sure, but I want the same in return. Like, what I give you, I want it back. Okay. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. You know? I would say similar to that, but conversation. That, too. Conversation. I I would would assume that came with it. Kind of. Yeah, but be all over you. I could just come to your house and maybe just be in your space. I don't have to say nothing to you. We can barely talk, but we just always each other's face. Okay, so I'll get into my That's further yeah, end. That's further end. Let me add on. So like, that's like, further end. Oh, you said, but relationship wise, like relationship wise. Be my person to talk. Like, bro, literally be my best friend. Like, be yeah. my mm-hmm. best friend. Like, let I could talk to you about anything, everything, whenever. Like, it's good. Like, but what's crazy about that? You don't have to meet that in like a partner because this is my person. No, I want to meet that in my old lady. Like, I want to meet it in my <laughs> Nah, but I get, but I get what you're saying. I get, but I get what you're saying. Because I got my homies. Like, my homies were like, yeah, but I, they, but they, I they, want my partner, my, my boyfriend, like yeah. my my husband, like yeah. my like my husband, and the but person I can confide into yeah, my but before people, let's be honest, when it comes to relationship, there's sometimes you do keep secrets from each other. Let's be honest. There's sometimes like, oh my God, this made me so mad. I but I don't want it. that. I don't want that. I don't want that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I got homies like, yeah, I got like, homies, but I want you to feel like I can't you do can everything come with my homies. With I want to do all lady. But you know, I'm gonna be dramatic and have my reaction. That's just me. But I think just kind having of a significant other as where you can talk to each other for real, it's cool. Like you could talk to your girlfriend and your boyfriend. Like you really just talk to them. Okay, question number two. Um, what's your biggest lesson of 2022? Friends. Yeah. Friends. Yeah. I say friends. Trusting too easily. Investing your time into things and people. Like choose choose who you can invest your time into. I've learned that a lot. And also what you invest in your time into. Like be smart about what you do. <clears throat> yeah. Be smart about that. <laughs> Trusting is not Ooh. given, it's earned. And you're gonna Twenty twenty two? Girl. Mm-hmm. I lost a lot of people. But that's for the better. Like Y'all, pick and choose y'all friends and your people surrounding you, like, wisely. Like, if they're not for you, if they have, like, different interests, but that's okay if other people have different interests and, like, separate. Common goals. Find someone that has common goals and that will uplift you and not hold you down and give you doubt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah, because that's important. That's really important. Interests. Well, actually, question: What interest? If somebody have an interest in this, you can just not be friends with them. Like you just can't be friends with them. Like you're interested in that, or you you agree with that? No. Nah, it I depends on what it is. That's why I say like, yeah. what will be your? Uh-uh. If you like demonic yeah, and worship the devil and like <laughs> I <don't> like. <laughs> If you just outright with that, absolutely not. I cannot rock with it. Like, other than that, I'm good. LGBTQ, we're for it. Black 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 lives, we're for it. I'm not against nothing. I don't care. It's not my business. But all that Satan demonic and stuff, I can't that's just not meant for my spirit. Okay? That's <laughs> really not. Homophobic. You being a part of the community. Knowing that you look somebody at, is homophobic. Somebody I mean, at, looking I at know me and like thinking I'm disgusting. But I know just, you gotta know how to move around people. Like I, I just can't be around you at all because if I say I like a girl, you like, and you want to start an argument with me saying you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't. Some <laughs> I can't. Oh, tell me what I can and can't do. Blooper. Especially when it's just. <laughs> this is definitely a blooper. Because why are you talking about? <laughs> Because there's people no. who really aren't like that. There's people who really there are people who like there are people who are like, oh, you're that. Mm, I'm like, oh, absolutely not. Oh, 
cuts out the whole subject. Like, this no. is what it takes with people. Now it is. Homophobia. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next question, bro? <laughs> it's a no for me. What's the next question, bro? Why are we acting un. Alright, what's yours? What's my what? Like, if somebody say, oh, I'm interested in this, oh, actually not, do not come around me. Oh, I don't know. If you're into the devil shit, like, <laughs> shit. If you're into the, if you into the, like, the demonic stuff, just, like, I'm not going to be your friend. Like, I want to be your friend. <laughs> That's not a no for me, though. That's not even a no for me. You just don't do the round me. If that's something you do in the comfort of your own home, cool. But don't just come in front of me. Worship Satan. Back up. I mean, back, back, back up. Okay. <laughs> back would, up. You, would you ever date someone with a kid? Yes. I've done it before. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see why. No. That's why I said depending on how, how old the kid is, though. No. At all? No. Let's say you're th 35 and you can't oh, find nobody. You maybe can't find nobody. Would you find the perfect person and they got five of your kids? First of all, maybe if I'm in my life. First of all. My goal is to be married by like. 25. My late 20s, so it's good for real. So. Like everybody from five first, first kid by 27. I feel like I got a grumble on these for real. <laughs> oh, Jesus. But I'm going to be Would I date someone with a kid? No. Y'all, I'm in college. <laughs> yeah. I'm in college. And first of all, if, a, if something's calling you mommy, daddy, ooh, um, no. Love kids. But y'all, I need to be the priority. Yeah, I need to get my career straight. Bro. Yeah, like. Double A. Auntie Rissa. <laughs> she said Auntie Russell. Absolutely not. Yeah, but I'm not gonna judge anyone that does have a kid. Yeah, like, like I'm not gonna home, stop bro, like, talking to you because you have a kid. I'm gonna wanna be your friend, but I'm gonna let you know. Yeah. Like that's not what type of time I'm on. Get what I'm saying? Yeah, I just wouldn't date anybody. Because I wouldn't want nobody to do that to my mom or my sister or responsive like I'm not my there, auntie, like, like yeah, I'm not there. My that's not yeah, my responsibility. responsibility I'm not there are there yet, and I'm, I feel like I'm not. If I'm not gonna put my all into you, because once you date someone, you take on their responsibilities, kinda. Yeah. And it's like, uh -huh. I wouldn't want to do, not do for the kids, right? Right. but I'm not there yet, y'all. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, next question. We oh, answered that so. question. Absolutely not. Um. Hmm. What's something you would do one time and never do it again in your entire life? Something that you want to try once, but you know after you try, you never want to do it again. What would I do? Like I'm gonna do this one time in this lifetime and just never again. All right, no minds. <laughs> I don't know. Acid or shrooms. What's I knew it was going to be After I that, never again. Never again. Never again. No. Mine is not going to be drunk because I don't want to do that. Absolutely not. Um, I would say, because of my anxiety and stuff, like skydiving. I'm gonna that's fun to me. That's fun to me. That's so fun to me. I would skydive a bunch I'm of times. Like, I'm terrified to jump out of a plane like and just... That is terrifying to me. No. I don't know. No. I would do that a bunch of times. Like, but I would I do it like know. once, like jump off a bridge, like bungee jump. I would do that. I'll do that. I'm a dead But I'm I'm down I really I want to go zip line too. Like I'm scary, but I really want to do all this stuff. I don't know. I but let's say you do zip line and somebody get the opportunity to zip line again. Would you do it again? Yeah, I'd zip line again. Okay, then that's not something you do one time and never do it again. No, I'm saying skydiving. I'm saying everything I would. Yeah, like I zip line. I said I would zip line. Pay attention, babe. <laughs> I don't know what I would. I don't, I don't really don't know. Like, I would do a lot of things again. Like, a lot of things. Except drugs. I mean, drugs. No. I haven't Absolutely done one. Absolutely not. I no. Have drugs. Not, no. I haven't done it. I'm sad. I don't know. What? I haven't done it. 
have a deuce in my love for some one time. One time. <laughs> one time. See me, I'm too so stenchy for that. No. Absolutely no. not. I mean. One time. I like one person, that one person got to be like, mm, like, like, my dream. I'm praying with all girls, though. I don't know. I praise with all girls, though. I probably want to get. She's so gay. No, I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> See, there's some things that she would try once and just never do it again. If I would, oh. I would probably want to get. I probably want to get drunk with Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Jonah Hill. And never do it again. And never do it again. Because if you see, if you seen Wolf of Wall Street, you know why. <laughs> oh. <I'm not. laughs> if you see Wolf of Wall Street, you know why. Okay. I don't know. One thing I do is never do. Oh, I did say about Skydive. Okay, we're good. Um, next question. What is your guilty pleasure? Y'all can go first. Oh, no, no, no. Bro, go first. We said the cycle is this week. I'm not answering that first, so go first. Restricted? 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 I'm answering that first. Huh? Restricted? Restricted? Should we do a restricted version? Kids under 18 shall not be permitted to watch this video. Okay. Me. Sorry. Me. But it's, is it Me. for you, sweetie? Me. Kapow. Kids not okay. Understand. On to the non-restricted. You're going first because I'm not going first? I'm not. No, this is going first. Okay. The hell is going to be stupid. A plant. Out. A real plant, a plant and the smell of gasoline. Huh? A plant that you can light on fire. I don't get it. A plant, like an actual smoking. Um, smoking. Why would you say smoking? Smoking weed. <laughs> and the smell of my <laughs> 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 Because I was trying to, I was trying to do it over. Okay. 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 okay, okay, okay. Ain't she okay. not paying attention? Okay. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be really honest right now. Smoking weed, the smell of gasoline, and some Okay, we're gonna bleep that part, <laughs> well, like the little part at the end, but hey, to each his own. If you want it, you, she know where it's going. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I that's, would say she know where and, it's and going. And also the cat <laughs> cop. Well, yeah, that cop with it. That cop together, that's too. Uh, Jada, go ahead. What's your, what's your, what's your? Absolutely Jada, not. Jada, what's yours? Jada, what's yours? What's yours? Um, my guilty pleasure. Yeah, raisins. I love me some raisins. Mm. I'm like, okay. I hate both y'all. I hate both y'all. Um. Okay. <laughs> relationship status <laughs> and how did you get there how did you get there oh wow <laughs> how did you get there 
I'm not answering this question. There's no way in the world I'm answering this question. I'm not answering this question. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. 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 I'm
Well, I see. I don't. I can't see that. I have like a standard black leg because I've never really seen in between a couple. Yeah, that makes sense. I have my grandma and my grandpa have been separated for years, so I just never. I don't have like that's black love right there. I don't, I don't know what that's like. I get that. I don't see it. So take them for what it is. Yeah. You I live and you learn. I don't even know at this point. I'm just coasting. For real. I'm just coasting. coasting right now. Do y'all believe in marriage? I believe in marriage. I want to yeah. be married. Of course yeah. I believe in marriage. Yeah, because a lot of people don't believe. 25, please. Oh, no, that's too young. No, 25? 25 and 26 to get married? That's not too young, bitch. I like to have a child before I'm in my 30s. Because I don't need to be punched over, can't barely walk, and you, you just touch this thing. <laughs> nah, I can't. If I can't get you, it's a problem. And that's all I got to say. If I can't come to your games, if I have okay. a bike problem saying in the bleachers, it's a problem. I don't <laughs> believe in marriage. I want a wife. I, I want, want a, a husband. <laughs> I want a wife. I can have both. But y'all, oh my gosh. Both. We can get into it next time. What? <laughs> we can get into it next time. <laughs> <laughs> we can get into it next So you believe in polygamy? No. Oh, we can get into I, it I next said, time. Y'all, thank y'all for watching. This was my first YouTube video. I think it was way real cool. Like, we asked real questions. Like, just being us. Talking. Y'all know? You know? I know. <laughs> okay, bye, loves. Bye, dolls. Okay, well, let me crack that, though. Let me crack that.